Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Kellyanne Class. Well, we have one more day of above average temperatures before we're tracking a cool down on the way that's going to drop temperatures well below average and bring back the chance for some precipitation. One thing we haven't seen so far in 2020 is any precipitation at all. So hopefully that looks like it'll change, but also the thing that'll change is the above average temperature. So yesterday, a high temperature of 63 degrees. That is, of course, 10 degrees above our normal of 53. By this afternoon, though, temperatures will be nearly 15 degrees above our average with highs nearing the 70s in some places. So starting off this morning feeling pretty chilly, especially off to the north and west where they're seeing some clearing conditions. Temperatures right now are into the 30s and 20s, but into the rolling plains still seeing some more mild air stick around as we're seeing temperatures into the 30s. Also waking up to a few areas some breezy conditions as well. Winds are out of the south and southwest at about 10 to almost 15 miles per hour. They are expected to continue to pick up throughout the daytime hours today, especially to the south of Lubbock. That's where the strongest winds are going to be, but still noticing an elevated fire weather risk for much of the South Plains and all of eastern New Mexico for later on today. So even though we won't have a lot of strong winds here in Lubbock, still want to think about not burning since we had a lot of dry conditions over the past several days. Seeing dry conditions this morning from our Freona Life sky view, that little area of some light in the clouds. That's actually the moon now beginning to set, but it is illuminating some high cirrus clouds across the area this morning and even some low level moisture is making for some dew on your cars, but in in terms of precipitation, none of that just yet. A lot of cloud cover for much of the South Plains this morning, though areas off to the north and to the west where we're seeing those coldest temperatures. That's where we're seeing those clearing conditions. Watching an area off around Nevada and California that's going to bring some potentially rainfall into our area by overnight on Saturday and even on Friday evening. So tracking everything out for you, a few spotty showers by Friday evening. As the sun sets and we get colder air sinking on in, that's when the rain is going to transition into some snow. Keep in mind, not everyone is going to see snow, and in fact, a lot of people will stay dry by tomorrow, but we can't rule out the potential for a few flakes and even a few snow showers as well. Early Saturday morning, seeing a few lingering snow showers possible, but by the time you wake up on Saturday, everything looks to clear out. So here's what you need to know in terms of the forecast for this impending rain and snow shower event. Everything begins around tomorrow evening after about four or five o'clock. Very isolated in nature. As the sun begins to set, it begins to transition into some snow. Not everyone again is going to see snow and in fact accumulations are going to be very light in terms of maybe some places locally seeing about an inch of rainfall. Rest of us may be seeing about a coating. The other concern, maybe even some black ice by Saturday morning. So just something to keep in mind. Otherwise, we're on tap for another nice day today. Check out some of these high temperatures into the mid 60s and lower 70s into the rolling plains. Though looks like even though it feels like spring today, we're going to get back to reality by Saturday as temperatures by Saturday afternoon only reach the upper 40s and lower 50s. Definitely looks like a great day to get outside. Yeah, one final day to get outside. Enjoy that weather before uh, the potential for some snow showers comes and even that colder air by this weekend. Thanks, Kelly.